the reaction to what went down yesterday in Helsinki, Finland, with former Cheney National Security Advisor, Dick Cheney National Security Advisor, Stephen Yates, who says despite the president's performance, good things did happen. Um, Stephen, always good to have you. Um, he's still chafing a bit, understandably, with some of the criticism he's had to endure from the right and the left. Um, but you, you don't think it was that bad? No, Neil, my sense is that the hot takes were a bit too hot. Uh, this president over and over has been judged usually harshly based on short-term tactics, and it leads a lot of experts and pundits to kind of underestimate his electability, the possibility of passing tax cuts, and how many times was the North Korea deal on again, off again, or the meeting, I should say, on again, off again. And so if you look at what he's really trying to do, it's a revival of realism, of getting away from interventionism, rebalancing relationships and playing old school power politics among nations and that part of it I strongly agree with in terms of what he's doing but there's also the deal-making President Trump and I think that may have been what was playing a little too brightly during the press conference and I think some of his remarks made it seem he was a too forgiving of Putin for real misdeeds by Russia um, you might be right and I have great respect for you but I thought he botched it enormously mm -hmm. I thought that he missed an opportunity to stand by certainly the United States and intelligence agencies, not just those who preceded him and run by people who came before him, but by his own people right now. So, so to put faith in them, to put faith in every prominent Republican on Capitol Hill who shares the view that the Russians interfered in the, in the last election, that n not a one of them thinking that it altered the outcome, uh, not a one of them believing that it, it, it changed anyone's minds, but that the president should deal with it and he didn't. You think behind closed doors he did. Well, we don't have any evidence that he didn't. And, uh, you know, having, having well, worked with I'm going by those public these, comments where right. he seemed to bend over backwards and say, I trust this guy. Yeah, that, I mean, that formulation was really, really problematic for the president. They're going to have to work really hard to try to unwind that. Uh, my sense, though, is when you're dealing with relations among nations, there are bigger and longer, more enduring things that presidents can adjust. And uh, that's really, I think, the challenge for the administration is to basically do a better job of reinforcing what that arc is and to try to get beyond the news cycle. Uh, but there's no question that the formulation of the press conference was really problematic and certainly has been seized upon on Capitol Hill. You know what I worry about, oh, Stephen, and I don't think it, it doesn't mean the president's evil by any stretch, but that I think he, he bends over backwards to be accommodating to the person uh, with whom he's up there, you know, whether it's Theresa May in Britain and he says all these, you know, uh, horrible things about her and the government and her handling of Brexit in a newspaper interview. I don't think he, he thought at the time was tape. Maybe he did. And then when he's on the dais with her there or on the, you know, the stand taking questions from reporters, he's very complimentary and tries not to, to agitate. And the same maybe applies to Vladimir Putin. When you're up there, um, you sort of dial it back. And it might be nothing more than that. Well, I think that's kind of the deal mode of President Trump. And uh, somewhat in our dealings, when we're dealing with friends, we have higher expectations. So we feel at liberty to be tougher with them to try to reshake uh, what we're doing in terms of trade or Yeah, politics. but we don't kick our friends in the hiney. That, well, this president does every once in a while. Yeah, all uh, the time. And, and, and he didn't and, do the same with Vladimir Putin. Right. And so when he's dealing with Xi of China or Kim of North Korea or Putin of Russia and some others, he takes a different approach. And that contrast is a communications challenge for the White House. That is very diplomatically put, Stephen. Um, <laughs> you're the best, and I appreciate it, sir, very, very much. Stephen Yates, a Thank former uh, Deputy National Security Advisor to Vice President Dick Cheney.